All right. Hi, Ultimate Hoop Chicago. I am here at Bloomingdale upstairs with Brian Evans, personal trainer. He's in his element here. Uh, Brian, pretty big season for you this season. Um, coming off a back-to-back -back championship. Yep. Let's uh, let's talk about that. Break down the championship game for us a little bit. Uh, championship game. We played against No Size, who uh, they beat us earlier in the season. Uh, we got down 15 in the first half, which has been kind of our trend lately. Um, second half we kind of had a big half everybody contributed a few points here and there chipped away and then ended up winning it right at the buzzer dang it's quite a quite a quite a re, quite a season recap right there <laughs> there you go uh you yourself recorded a triple double in that game did you know that i did not until you told me right at the end <laughs> um so what everybody wants to know is what how do you what do you feel about the mr triple double being your nickname do you like it uh did you start it? Where did they come? Who started it? I believe that was Elston who started it. Um, yeah, I like it. That's that's my game. It's just all around. I'm not great at every, any one thing. I take pride in my all-around game, so I love it. Not great at any one thing. I think uh, you dominate in the rebound category. All right, maybe rebounding. That's about it. <laughs> so you recorded four triple-doubles on the season. Um, do you know if that's a career high for you? Uh, I don't know. I would say probably, though, right around that, yeah. Okay. Um, so really, the point of this conversation right now is to let everybody know that this is your, you won MVP for the season. This is your third straight MVP. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, three straight. Uh, we won the championship two straight, though. So uh, missed out on that first one winning the championship. So it feels good to get two championships in a row now. That means more than the MVP? That's what you're supposed to say, right? Always. <laughs> yeah, it does, though. <laughs> um, you're also 14 points away from a, a pretty pretty remarkable club here. The 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and uh, 500, assist, 500 assist clubs. Um, what uh, what does that mean to you? I think that just means I've played a lot of games here. I spent too much time at Lifetime. That's probably what that means. <laughs> a lot of career games. Top 100 in rebounds, assists, and steals. Did you, you have any idea you were in this, this category? I think you told me maybe when I cracked top 100 in rebounds. I didn't know about the other one. Am I the only one that ever tells you any, any statistical? <laughs> You're my stat guy, Chad, so you, you let me know everything. <laughs> okay. Um, so I want, I want to switch roles a little bit here for you. Okay. You're, you're in a game. You're going against Brian Evans. What do you do to stop him? To stop me? Uh... I guess most people would say probably let me shoot from the perimeter and I guess try to get a body on me on the glass. That's where a lot of my offense starts from, so getting rebounds. Has anybody ever been able to do this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure people have slowed me down. A lot of people come out and try to be super physical. Um, first 10 minutes, first half of the game, trying to push me, box me out every time. Usually they get a little tired, though, as the game goes on, so <laughs> second half is a little easier. Okay. Um. So this, this is a question to make you think back a little bit. First basketball game you ever attended? First game I attended, like a professional game? Yep. Uh, it was Magic versus the Pacers at Canseco Fieldhouse. I was a big T-Mac fan, so I went to, I went to see T-Mac back in the day. Uh, so this would have probably been, what, early 2000s? Yeah, something like that, early 2000s, yep, yep. In our previous conversations, we talked about movies and stuff. I know you're a big movie buff. So what's, uh, what's the latest movie you saw, and what's uh, next on the list? Uh, I actually saw two this past weekend. I saw The Hobbit. That's, that's my go-to movie right there. So I saw the new, the new Hobbit that came out, and then I saw the second Hunger Games, too. So they were, they were both good. Hobbit was awesome. Uh, any, any new ones on your radar? New ones. Um, I think Leonardo DiCaprio's in one, The Wolf of Wall Street. I'll probably try to see that one. That sounds good. Um, oh, so this is just in. Uh, somebody just tweeted and wanted to know what your uh, your uh, <laughs> what's at the top of your Christmas list. Top of my Christmas list, uh, probably shoes. Some maybe some basketball shoes. Maybe some just shoes to chill in. I, I not going to be representing the Carolina Blues anymore. <laughs> They're starting to wear down on me already, so I might have to find some new ones for next season. That's probably top list. Yes. Just yep. hard worker, I guess. <laughs> yeah, wear them out. Um, 
keep it on the topic of Christmas coming up. You do. I don't know if you celebrate Christmas or I do. Not. I do. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Okay. Uh, what is your uh, favorite Christmas song? Favorite Christmas song? Uh, I've heard it's not many people's favorites. Most people hate it, but I like Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas. I think it's by Paul McCartney. Okay. Kind of annoying, but that's my favorite. <laughs> What about your uh, favorite Christmas movie? I mean, Christmas stories on every year. I don't know if that's a top one for you. I love Christmas Story. Um, one that I don't know if it's a Christmas movie per se. I like Home Alone. That's as Christmas time. One or two. One and Elf. Those are probably my top three: Christmas Story, Home Alone, Elf. Okay. What uh? So what? What's your uh, plans for the Christmas? Nothing. I'll be here working at Christmas Eve. Uh, got a boot camp going. If anybody wants to drop by, get a workout in before uh, before you start eating. This everything. isn't an advertising show. <laughs> um, and then Christmas, just hanging out with the family. So, low okay. key. What about New Year's? New Year's, I don't know. Probably going to the city or something. I think uh, Brett Hewlett, our shooting guard, might be having a party, so we might be doing that. <laughs> Sounds like a packed holiday weekend. So... Um, well, Brian, congratulations on uh, another MVP and another championship. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it, man. <laughs>